did you start at OnlyFans? Mm. When did you realize you wanted to stop? Okay. And did having an OnlyFans bring problems to your relationship? Ooh, yes. Okay, so the first question was, what made me start mm -hmm. was survival mode. Yes. I was fighting so hard not to make one because I already had sexualized myself so much on social media yeah. um, and was gaining a following from that. So I just like, that's going to be the ice on the cake. But right. that's why I made one because okay. I was stuck. I was like, I, I need to make a lot of money really, really fast. And that's why I made one. Okay. When did the you realize you wanted to stop? Hold on, let's just let's stop there. Let's let's break this down section by section. She made an OnlyFans because of survival mode. Okay. The only thing that I can think of and that you need a whole lot of money really, really fast is either you about to go to jail or somebody about to kill you. Now, if you're not about to go to jail, right, then or somebody is not about to kill you or they hunting you down because you owe a lot of money because your bookie, you did your bookie dirty or something like that. Or you borrowed some money from the mob or you, you know what I'm saying? You got robbed on consignment and you still own a plug some money and they want their money. Unless you own that type of time, then I'm not really sure why you are needing a whole lot of money really, really fast. Um, and that you feel as though you have to create an OF in order for you to be able to get out of this survival mode. Most people decide that they need to go and get a regular job. Part of the reason that a lot of these people get in these situations is because they create self-inflicted wounds for themselves. And then they try to justify it by saying, oh man, I did it because I was under, no, 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 no. You did it because you seen a financial opportunity and I don't know these people. And obviously I'm always, as usual, going to link back and they very much could be a good person now and turn their life around or whatever. But I'm just going based off of what's being communicated because I don't want people to continue to justify bad behavior or making bad decisions because they're in survival mode. I think that we as people culturally often at times make excuses for our situation, which then justifies bad decisions on a regular basis. I do not believe and I know that this is her story, and I know I don't have the full context. Maybe we'll do a whole breakdown of it on After Hours or something like that tomorrow like that. But I know it's not the full story, and I don't have the full context. I don't believe even for one second that it was based off of survival mode. I think it was opportunistic, in which, obviously, she was already posting salacious pics online. And the allure, the allure of the money and the finances was just too great to pass up. And so what we usually do is we justify bad decisions in our mind in order for us to continue to do the thing that we're not supposed to do instead of taking ownership and responsibility, getting it the slow way, and then making sure that we do it that way. But nobody wants to do it the slow way, and we in this instant, instant gratification, instant money, instant run it up, but then you have instant, instant suffering as a result of it. Let's continue. I realized I wanted to stop when I was married. So I had already like known my husband before I even made OnlyFans. He watched me from college. Like I was 17. Mm -hmm. So he watched this whole evolution. Um, and that's that's, so that's the reason why that's I feel like beautiful. he even married me, though. Mm -hmm. He just saw the woman I can, I Your wanted potential. to be yeah. and I was in survival mode. So he married me even with OnlyFans. Did that's crazy. <laughs> that's, listen, listen. That is insane. Your dude married you while you was on OF. This, in my opinion, and I know a lot of y'all like to save a lot of these women and stuff like that. And again, I don't know this woman, but I got to speak to what she's saying because, you know, we want to make sure that we leave good examples and, and breadcrumbs for people to follow after in order for them to be successful also. For a dude to come and save you from OF, because he's seen the potential in you and he had been watching you since you was young and paying attention. And he was basically probably, it sounds like he was in a friend zone, to be honest with you. It sounds like either he was in a friend zone or he had a thing for you the whole time. And so while you had the opportunity to do the right thing, you decided to do the wrong thing. And then you basically went into a situation where you wind up getting married to and settling for the dude that was willing to deal with you or deal with whatever trauma that you had instead of forcing you or you forcing yourself to get yourself together before you get into a relationship or a situation. He came in to fix you. He came in to fix you. That's insane. Y'all, listen, y'all dudes are taking simping to a whole 
new level. For you to marry a woman that is willing to display everything that she has online is wild to me. So the whole world was able to see what was going on before you even got to it. Did it bring problems to your marriage? Absolutely, Absolutely it of did. Um, well, it was more so my my husband would challenge me. He was he knew who we married. He knew what I was in, and he knew I was in it for survival mode. It's how I made money. But he said, "Is this what you want to do for the rest of your life?" Wait, wait, wait. How are you still in survival mode and you and you married, but you still doing it? <sighs> life, right? I was like, no, I want to have kids and stuff. And he said, you should start seeking out something that will give you more purpose that yeah. you could be proud of. Because um, he said, I see you as, and again, in the word, it says, you know, God views us as diamonds and, and rubies. Like we're, we're priceless. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm putting a. Listen, God bless you. I'm very, very thankful or, or happy for you. And that you've turned your life around and now you are, you know, advocates for the Lord. But at the same time, what I would like to communicate to people is how to avoid putting yourself in this situation in the first place. And I'm not really sure that y'all as men should be looking for OF chicks to go and save. J just my opinion respectfully and I don't have anything negative to say about her because again I'm obviously she turned her life over to the Lord and y'all sent this to me to react so I react to so I'm appreciative for that but I don't suggest y'all go out and try to save broken women I don't care what she is I don't care if she on OnlyFans I don't care if she you know trauma filled you trying to do that you are in for a world of hurt and when I say a world of hurt, I mean a world of hurt is coming your way and you are going to have to endure through a bunch of other stuff. And it's a possibility that they never change or evolve. And what you what you get, because, again, I tell people not to date. Vet for the person that you are for the direction that you're going in and not where you at. Let me say that again. And I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm speaking to my guys. When you're vetting for a person that you ultimately are going to spend the rest of your life with, I'm not talking about a buzz down. I'm not talking about a moment. I'm talking about a person that y'all are looking to ultimately be in a relationship. Vet for the thing that you are to become. So the trajectory of your life. A lot of times y'all get in these relationships with people that's not going in the same direction as you, but you felt as though you were compatible at the time or you had a situation with them at the time. And so now you stuck with them, even though they're not best for you you're not equally yoked you guys were never going in that direction you didn't build together they basically just piggybacked off of your greatness and they rolled you over to success that's not going to be successfully married okay y'all need to be vetting for the direction that you're going in and making sure that you're going in that direction not that you got unrealistic expectations of who you are to become because then you're going to leave somebody astray all right stop trying to save these people and stop using the anomaly as the example for how it is you're supposed to live your life. Because, again, it's going to cause you a world, of, a world of hurt and a world of headache. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Because the best day to join the Patreon is the beginning of the month. Bar none. The best day to join the Bag Chasers is the beginning of the month. Okay? Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. And then I can't wait to hear what you guys are going to say about this one. Oh my God, it should be interesting. I love you. I appreciate you. Hopefully she continues on this path of righteousness and telling her story. And I'm glad that she's transparent because we can use this as an example to uh, emphasize some things. But don't be trying to say these people. I'm gonna holler at y'all later.